Okay, so looks like it finally arrived. Uh, I've been kind of worrying about things. We should be worried. Not about the virus, though, right? But about the fact that they're lying to us about stuff. And they're crashing our economy. Remember, this is how Joseph Stalin, you know, he was uh, carrying out Lenin's work. Lenin, Lenin's uh, disgusting uh, communist experiments with hu people's lives. And uh, they together were able to, uh, by crashing their economy and using the military to force people to de depose their private property to the, the state, they were able to murder about 40 million people. So something that you should be concerned about. This is unprecedented, what they've done. And they're putting all of our lives in danger by uh, abusing the powers of the state, violating our constitutional rights, and basically committing treason against this country. So what happens, I did a little video a little while back about storing up some water, recycling containers. If you didn't see that, it's kind of some interesting ideas. But what happens when they turn off the electricity or they turn off the water? How are you going to get more water? Turns out that rainwater is actually distilled water. And uh, what this is, this is a big tarp and it has a little thing so you can attach a hose here and you can capture rainwater in principle and put it into a barrel or something so that uh, you know, water is very important. If you don't have it for about three days, you die. And so, I'd like to survive this catastrophe created by the NWO, the New World Order, and the uh, communist uh, monster that is uh, created by these fiends. So let's uh, take a look at... Uh, I'm going to have to take this outside, I think. Should be interesting. Okay, anyway, we'll have to set that up and see if we can collect some rainwater and see how it works. See if we can survive this uh, media lie manufactured disaster. And it is all lies. It's all lies by the media. I guess this is, uh, goes to show you if the media tells all the same lies over and over again, people will believe it. If it's on TV, people are going to believe it. They don't even use their brain. I mean, none of it makes sense. Oh, if, if you're you're not even infected, you, you're going to transmit it. you got to stay six feet away. They want you to stay six feet away because why? Because they want to create a 1984 dystopia where it's illegal for people to talk to each other. Because if you start talking to each other, you might say, yeah, well, this this doesn't make any sense at all. Why, why are we shutting down the the whole country, declaring martial law, and destroying our economy over a few people getting the common cold. Why are we, we going to bring out the military and, and force vaccinations? <laughs> That's what's going to kill you there. Anyway, uh, enough of my soapbox. We'll see if we can survive this uh, latest attack from the NWO. Okay. Okay, so... Here's our tarp thing, and I was looking around for some hose. Actually, you kind of might want to find some hose that's kind of clean. But anyway, let me get this thing off. So, let's just test this out. We have a, here, just make sure that the uh, hose fits onto our tarp thing. So here's our garden hose, and here's a little nipple thing on there, and let's see if we can, oh gosh, okay, put it on without cross threading it maybe. So, looks like we got that thing on there. Let's uh, spread this thing out. Of course, you want to take off the nozzle thing because it's not going to work too well.
fairly decent size. I guess it's maybe it's um zoom out a little bit. There we go. So it looks like it might be big enough to have most of the rain in the backyard. You want to do such a thing. Drinking water. There we go. Wow. Might need some rope or something. Can't get that whole thing in frame. String this up, and uh, might want to get some buckets or something to put the water into. Okay. Now it looks like I'm having trouble finding all my rope, so we're gonna have to improvise here. There we go. Just take this and hook it over there like that, and. Uh, well, I don't recommend using some of this stuff, but I found some yarn. Maybe I can let me let me get the other sides up, and we'll take a look to see how this thing looks once we get it off the ground here. There, looks like a giant stingray or something. Okay. Okay. Maybe you shouldn't do it under a tree because. You might drop a bunch of crap into your water, but maybe you can filter it later. It's definitely probably cleaner than something that's coming out of the disgusting swamp next door or something. Because that, that could have a lot of amoebas or bacteria in it, which give you dysentery. Make you really sorry that you drank the, the water. Okay. And anyway, I kind of want it to be kind of inverted like a pyramid in the middle. So this is not quite right yet, but let, let, let me let, let me let me fiddle with this a little bit. Maybe we can get this looking a little bit better. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing a temporary setup here, but I think if I had a more permanent setup, I would probably use the hose. But it's too close to the ground right now. And what I really wanted to do is I had just um, happen to have a little extra container around here. And put this maybe just under the nipple here just to catch some of the water. Let's take a look at this. Ouch. Okay, so here's a 55 gallon drum thing. I think I got it for like $20. Rinsed it out. The, I guess the uh, what do you call it? The places that wash your car. One of those places I've never been to, except for when I was a kid. Uh, puts the big, big things of soap in here, and uh, then they have to pay to get rid of them. Maybe we could just put that nozzle in there. Maybe I could get a funnel or something. Might hold it in place. Okay. So there we got 55 gallon drum. This so way we might be able to funnel the water down into that. Maybe we can get a shorter hose or something. And this thing all situated here. So that maybe you could uh, harvest some rainwater. Like I said you could could use a hose to make sure it goes into the 
the uh, barrel. And uh, looks like you could probably, with 10 by 10, you could probably capture quite a bit of water with that. Let me fiddle with it and see if we can get it. If you want it really have it be inverted. That looks like we're doing this just in time. Well, it looks like it's going to rain soon. I'm seeing raindrops coming down. Okay. So, let's see what we can do about this. Okay, so anyway, we got a extra garden weasel and a cinder block to hold up this side. And, uh, let's see, I had this, this thing hooked here, but it's not really quite inverted. Okay, we need to maybe find a better place to hook this guy to. Oh, let, me, let me see if I can find some zip ties or something. Okay, uh, this is looking pretty good. I think we're ready for the apocalypse. Okay. Okay, I think we finally got it. We got the center so it's concave in. And I'm not sure if this is going to stand up to a wind or not, but we actually needed to get an extra chair to stick under the uh, cinder block and the garden weasel. So we could uh, hold up this corner here. And I think we might be all set. We have the low bucket down there. Oh, look at that. This is a work of art. It's looking pretty good. And so we might want to line that bucket up so that the bucket is under the nipple thing. The bucket's kind of like a giant funnel here. Okay, there's a nipple thing up here. So hopefully, I hear the rain coming. Hopefully we'll start getting rain down into our bucket there. Ooh, man, I just put my hand in something bad. Oh, God. Okay, let me put this camera away. Anyway, survival collecting rain. Okay, like any good engineer. Let me make sure I got my hair done. Okay, like any good engineer, we want to test this thing out before we run it for real. And here we got a uh, thing of water. And let's just pour that down there. And look at that, it's going down the hole. And oh, yeah. Coming down out the nipple into our bucket. Look at that. Looking like a charm. Okay. So it looks like we got that right at the minimum spot. And it's starting to rain. Just in time. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so when it's raining, it rains so many inches, but that's inches everywhere. And so, if you have a big ass area to collect the water. All right. See how it's going collecting right down near where the nipple is? Going into our bucket. You're going to collect that much more water every time it rains. Okay. Oh, this is so exciting. That uh, cool and refreshing. There it goes, running down into the bucket. Raindrops. Okay. Okay, it looks okay, it looks like the rain's really starting to pick up here. Got this project done just in time. <clears throat> the water's starting to puddle in our tarp, speeding up. Looks like it's working pretty good. There we go. Yeah, we're getting drips of water out the bottom. Hopefully we'll get stream soon. 
Excellent. I love it when a plan comes together. <clears throat> Okay, looks like we're getting pretty good rain now. Oh, and some other stuff. Ah, beautiful water. It's all free. Free of fluorine. Free of taxes, free of criminal bureaucrats. Oh, I just love the smell of free. Look at that. Uh, and the survival stuff is something you gotta kind of practice, you know, all the time. Don't want to hit the garden weasel. You know, it's a way of life. Just like being a slave to the system is a way of life, and you gotta get out of that. So look what they can do. They can just make up a make up a phony virus and panic everybody and crash our economy and put all your lives in danger. And they say, well, you got to take the injections that we're going to force upon you if you want to continue to have the nice, easy life. Sometimes the easy path isn't the best way, right? There's no uh, no substitute for freedom when our constitution is gone. Everything becomes very expensive, right? Not having freedom is costly. Well, it looks like we're getting pretty good rain now. Let's take a look underneath and see what kind of stream we're getting. Oh, look at that. Lots of beautiful water. See that right there? Beautiful stream of water coming out of this thing. Straight from God, right? Okay, excellent. Okay, so it rained last night. I'm not sure how much it rained. Oh, look at that. I didn't think it was even raining that much, and we overfilled the bucket. Look at that. Mm, nice fresh water. Anyway, looks like our tarp really works. Whole bucket full of water just after one night. So if you're traveling, there'd be something better to drink than uh, whatever's in the swamp. It's all the bugs and the amoebas and the dysentery. Yeah, God knows what else. Okay. Definitely a lot, a lot more than I thought I was going to get in one night. Definitely a lot cleaner than probably what you'd find in the disgusting mud puddles along the way. Okay. Okay, anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching. Okay.